Hey everyone. Today, I'm excited to introduce a crucial topic that every embedded programmer should be familiar with. RTOS stands for Real-Time Operating System. We'll be working with a well-known one called Free RTOS. Porting it is as simple as a click in CubeMX. It's incredibly user-friendly and efficient. Even if you're completely new to this, I'll break it down into easy-to-understand steps. In a typical C program, we usually have one main function where we execute all our steps and functions. If we want programming to be easier, having more than one main function may seem like a solution. For example, one main function could handle networking tasks, while another could control LEDs and other functionalities. However, with a single-core CPU, it's not possible for two functions to run simultaneously. Free RTOS can achieve the appearance of simultaneous execution by rapidly switching between functions, a technique known as multitasking. Now that you have a basic understanding, you can continue learning more in programming. Let's open CubeMX and generate a project. For the very beginning of a free RTOS project, I want to generate two tasks for blinking a LED separately in every task. And I have to mention, the RTOS is not suitable for very small memory devices. I have selected an H7 series microcontroller and generated a project. I have selected all configurations as default. For many series of microcontrollers, you can add FreeRTOS from here without installing a separate package. But in some series, you have to install FreeRTOS from managed software packs. Here, you can select it and install for H5, U5, and other compatible series. Anyways, I don't need it for the H7 series. In here, we can select one of two versions of RTOS. V2 has more functionality, so we select V2 now. You can see many options here, but it's not necessary to know them for the beginning. It needs to enable FPU in my microcontroller to improve performance. I'll keep the tick as default at 1000 Hz. It means the RTOS switches 1000 times per second between tasks. Exactly 1 millisecond. It mentions how many bytes are available to the Rutu's core for allocating variables, creating tasks, queues, and others. We can add or remove many other options here. If you are using Newlib, you can enable it here. We can add software timers and semaphores here. And mutexes here. In here, we can add a new task. By default, one task is always generated. I press Add to create a new task. Priority of task mentions how important the task is. In the future, I'll explain more about that. I select the normal priority, like the other tasks. In here, we can select the stack size for every task. Keep in mind, if you want to use many functions with input and output parameters, you have to increase it. As you can see, both tasks have the same priority. Now, let's change the name of the task. These are better now.
I forgot to change the timer. It should change when you have enabled the RTOS. You can find it on the RCC tab and select an unused timer. Let's take a look at the main.c file first. The latest function it is going to execute is OS kernel start. And the code never reaches this while loop. Let's take a look at the freertos.c file now. These are task declarations and configurations. These are functions for creating tasks. And these are our two task functions. Keep in mind two important things and you are working with RTOS. First, you need a loop inside each task. The code should never reach the end of the task. Second, avoid using delay functions inside tasks, as they may block the execution of other tasks with lower priority. I want to create two blinkers with different timings. One with a 100 milliseconds interval, and the other with a 200 milliseconds interval. Let's program and see the results on the board. That's it. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you.